Hello everybody, Stanley Reisler for Coney Island Transfer and Sublimation of More. Learn, create, and inspire. I like to work with this ornament. It's a polymer ornament. I've had some trouble in the past with it and I think I possibly have it down pat. We want to take this design made by Amy Hale at halebound.com and I adapted it into the shape. It's actually square made for slate. And we're going to take a little Dye Trans Pro Spray 2 or any repositional spray. Give it a little spritz onto our image. We're going to make sure that the hole is up on top because we don't want to misalign anything. Press it down like so. And we want to turn it over and do it on this side. We want to cover it with our paper. The folding trick I also got from Amy. I never did that before. And we're also going to need to use a silicone mat and lay it over the top. And I like to put a piece of scrap paper on top of my silicone mat. Just in case. You never know. We're going to press this at 416 degrees for a minute and 12 seconds. Just give that a half a chance to get up. It's heating. Okay. I'm going to pull this down to light to medium pressure. You could hear by how hard it was to lock it down if you don't have a gauge on the pressure. And hopefully this is going to come out beautiful. Well, on the other side, we're going to put a family photo. Okay. We have 42 seconds left. This product is available in the Christmas section at ConeyIslandTransfer.com You could also go to Sublimation More, Learn, Create, and Inspire for many tips and tricks and um, advice on how to sublimate. It's on Facebook. It's the largest sublimation group on Facebook with the nicest people. Okay, we're at seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's keep our fingers crossed, folks. See all that steam that came off. There's our paper. Our silicone, rather. Here's our scrap. And our paper. Look how beautiful that came out. Yes, I have to reposition. One of the names are a little bit off. Doesn't that look nice? It's a little hot to touch, so. It's not, let me see. Look at the angles. It's not blotchy. It's not muddled. And it looks really good. I might have used maybe an extra second or two, but I think it looks really nice. Let's get with the other side. We're going to take our image, and we're going to use our repositional adhesive spray Get another piece of scrap please we want to place it down like so let's get rid of this one let's get our next piece in there <coughs> Oop, I didn't use a lot of spray okay lay that like this Put this back over it, put our silicone mat back over all, and we'll cover the silicone mat with our butcher paper. This paper was bought on Amazon.com, and let's go a little bit more. I want to just give it a tad more pressure. Just want to see if there's a difference. Okay, folks, 
That also is 419. It'll come down in temperature as we do it. And I like to, you know, I thought it came out the best at 416. I'm going to do this for a minute and 15 seconds, I believe I said, or a minute and 16. You can see the last one. It had nice absorption. You see that a lot of the color is missing from the original. We have 30 seconds left. Let's hope that my image didn't move when I placed it. Otherwise we'll have a white spot and boy that could be embarrassing. Okay, here we go, folks. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the temperature came down, by the way, to 411 from the 419 that I had it on. I must have raised, I thought I had it set at 416, but okay. And there we go. Wow! That came out so nice. You can see. Yes, watch me burn my fingers. How nice that looks. I'm going to hold it at the angle so you can all see. There's no deformity. There's no um, problem at all with a funny look.